All right, I'm going to take you back to high school. All right, I'm just going to, just for a minute, just for a minute, I'm going to take you back to high school. In high school, in the gym and, um, and for your books, how many of you had combination locks? Combination locks, okay? So most of us had a combination lock of some sort with a little dial on it, and you had the combination, and when you put the com if you if you put the combination in correctly, the lock would open, correct? Yes. And if you missed a number or two on it, the the lock wouldn't open, correct? Yes. So write this down. I believe success is like a combination lock. Success is like a combination lock. If you know the combination, you can open the lock. When you know what to do, how to do it on a regular basis, the combination, it works. And when you don't do what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do over this period of time, it doesn't work. So here was the question. The combination, if you know the combination, does it matter whether you're a male or female? No. Okay. If you know the combination, does it matter which country you've come from? No. Does it matter whether you have an accent or not? No. Does it matter whether you're old or young? No. What matters? Know the combination and in which order to put in the numbers. Because if the combination's one, two, three, and you do three, two, one, will it open? No. So it has, so not only do you have to know the combination, the numbers and the seat, but you also have to know the sequence. You have to know that you have to do certain things to get certain things done. Here's the example. If you prospect a lot, but you don't know what to say and how to say it, how much business do you get? But if you know what to say and how to say it at a really high level, and then you prospect a lot, what happens then? You get more business. You guys get what I'm saying? Okay? And that's the sequence of what we need to do when things happen. It's my idea of previewing property. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> if you don't preview property, then you don't know what's going on in the marketplace. So then when a client asks you a question, what's happening in the marketplace, you started to prospect because in your mind, prospecting is the most important thing to do. So you run out there to prospect, door knock, phone canvas, get business, and yet... If you, when they ask you a question about what's happening in the marketplace and you can't answer it at a really high level because you don't know, you haven't previewed any property, you don't know what's available, you don't know what it's selling for, then therefore you don't sound very professional, professional or knowledgeable and you can't get the opportunity, when the opportunity comes, you don't get the opportunity. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. So write this down. Fact, F-A-C-T. F-A-C-T, fact. This is a fact. Focused action creates traction. See, you guys thought I was just another pretty face. I know stuff. <laughs> Focused action creates traction. Focused action creates traction. In any walk of life, correct? correct. In any endeavor, correct? correct? In any activity, whether it be sports, whether it be family, whether it be spiritual, whether it be learning, whether it be business, focus action creates traction. So one of the things I'm asking you to do, and I've asked a few agents to do this over the last few weeks, is that what I found is that some of you are really good at going out trying to get new business. 
the new expireds came in today and I'm going to go get me a new listing. And you get on the phone and you call. Some of you are terrific at it. You're terrific at going out and trying to get new business. Right? Say yes. yes. Some of you are really, really good at it. Fabulous. Amazing. And then you get a lead. It's not an appointment. It's a lead. Maybe even a decently hot lead, like, like get back to me with this information and you know, maybe I'll set an appointment with you. So like decently hot, like, like right up there with like almost sizzling, okay? So you take the lead, but it's not an appointment so you don't feel great about it. And then you, at the end of the day, but you don't feel bad, so you create a list. It's a nice list, okay? And you write it in nice form on a piece of paper. And it looks good. And maybe even you rewrite it at the end of the day because it's, somebody told you to do that. And then what happens to this list? Well, I'd all like to say that tomorrow we called that list and we followed up on that list and we took advantage of all the opportunities on that list, but what did we really do? Don't tell me. <laughs> we didn't follow up. So here's my suggestion to a few of you that have done it so far and have done really well with it and to the rest of you for the balance of the week. We're going to talk about it some other stuff, but I want you to do this right now. Focused action creates traction. For the rest of the week, I do not want you talking to, calling out to, looking for a new lead. The expired list comes in, delete it. Oh, look, look. <laughs> I've created a heart attack over here. Ah! All I want you to do the rest of this week is go into your car, go into your sun visor, go into your purses, go into your pockets. See, I got leads here too. Go find your leads, put them in front of you, and only call and follow up on those leads and activities that you've created in the past. Start with the recent past first and go set appointments. Work to set appointments. For the rest of the week, don't look for new business. Oh, but Neil, there's a new expired coming in and it might be the expired and it might be the one. Yes, that's true. It might be. But you have 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 50 lead opportunities that are already sitting with each and every one of you right now. If I lock the door, if I turn the phone off, you cannot call and look for outward business. You cannot let new business come in that you haven't touched. If I said you can't do that, you would make a phenomenal, a phenomenal amount of money because you're all sitting on absolute gold mines. Acres and acres and acres of diamonds are with each and every one of you right now. And you're walking past them every day. Focused action creates traction. So what we need to do is we need to focus on doing that for the balance of July. You guys with me? For the balance of July. We have one more week. We have Today plus four days. We have a unique opportunity. And then, starting Friday and Monday, we have a lot of expireds and stuff coming in. And that's all great. I want you to work on that then. But this is now. I'm telling you, you're missing business. We have a couple of agents working on this that have already created from that four or five appointments just in the last four days and have actually taken two listings, okay? Because all I've said to this person is you can't look for new business. Now, you're saying, yes, but what about this business? She could have had these two listings and the new business, right? Yes. Mm. She wouldn't have worked this. And maybe we would get the new and maybe we wouldn't, but this is almost certain business. 
You are blowing it, you guys. No, you can't call new business. No, no. <laughs> Past client and sphere, fine. But, okay. but first, the first calls of the day, where you would normally call the new expireds that came in, and all of you are guilty of this, mm -hmm. all right? You get this, it's, it's this new package of stuff, of cool, neat stuff, okay? You do, you get it. I get that feeling. You know, these are the Glen Gary, Glen Ross leads. <laughs> They're, if you never saw that movie, you've got to go see that movie, okay? These are the leads, and those are the golden leads. No. No, the golden leads are the people you've already talked to. The golden leads and opportunities are the people that you've already passed by. M my contention is, truthfully, those of you that aren't doing what you want to be doing business-wise, this is probably what's killing you. It's probably what's killing you. Because you're going after the new. The new, the nice, the shiny, the new, the new lead. But you're not taking care of the lead that you already have. That, by the way, already knows you. They've talked to you. They said, call me back, in most cases. And you what? didn't shame on you don't do one week okay so we don't even have one week now because half of today is gone but you can through Friday afternoon this is what you work on now I'm telling you I'm gonna get phone calls from you guys the afternoon in, in by noon Can I just call these 10 expires that came in today? <laughs> these are really good ones. Have you talked to them yet? No, but I could tell. Those are the best. No. 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 Have the discipline today. T today, tomorrow, the rest of the week. Have the discipline. Create the discipline. You have the leads. You have the leads, right? Yes. 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 You have, in some cases, stacks of them. I said this to somebody earlier today, and she grabbed this stack, like a whole, like this big, like two reams of paper, okay, of, of leads that were there. Now, not every page had something on it, there's something, but there's a lot of leads in there. Right? I'm telling you guys and gals. So that's the first part. The second part, is to call your past client sphere because you're really not doing that at the level you're supposed to either, right? Okay? If you will do what we ask you to do. I wrote this down. Learning is cumulative. Learning is cumulative. Cumulative is we build upon it. Learning is cumulative. Big changes or achievements can actually be made through small actions, one small step at a time. What did I say? Big step or small step? Small. small step. We're trying to make these big leaps and we're not doing the system. Remember the combination lock? Combination lock. We know we're, okay, you, you're supposed to call expireds, right? But if you only call expireds and you don't follow them up, meaning that you get the combination lock out of sequence, then the combination lock is an order a opening. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're putting in one, two, three, but it should be three, two, one. Get it? Do you, do you get, do you, I hope you guys get this. This to me was like a blinding flash of the obvious when I started working on this over the weekend. I said, oh my gosh, this, we, we were working with a few of the agents last week because they weren't, they're doing well. Don't get me wrong. They're doing really well. But they're missing the mark of what was really possible. And it is in the lead follow-up. It's in the lead follow-up. I wrote down here, a common trait in all successful people is that they are consistent in the small things. Their power is in taking small steps. 
See, we're making this a big job. This is not a big job. It's a little job. We first, we call the expireds. You guys did that. I want to remind you, you did that. Oh, big, big time. You called them. You did a great job in reaching out to them. And some of them said, let's talk. Let's follow up. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk next week, next month, next um, two months. They would said that to you. And you put it away to, you had good intentions. You meant to call them, right? Say yes. Yes. Okay, you meant to call them. But you didn't. They're actually, some of them were waiting for you. And then others of you called, and you got them. And you don't even know you lost them yet. That's the part that's going to really bother you the most in the next week. Because you're going to call these people, and you're going to say, Hey, Susie. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mary. Hey, Louie. You know, we talked about a month ago. We talked two months ago. You said that we wanted to talk about this. We're going to do something. We're going to get together. You're going to relist your property, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I did. Actually, it's sold. I'm closing escrow Friday. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. You know that's coming. In fact, it's probably one of the reasons you don't want to call the pastor. <laughs> you don't want to call them. You have to call them. We have to clean this up. And we have to stop doing that. Okay? I wrote here, most agents are not moving forward today simply because they are not willing to take the small steps necessary. Step one, make the call. Excuse me, back up. Step one, learn what to say and how to say it. Step two, make the call. Step three, follow up. Step four, follow up. Step five, follow up. Step six, work on what you're saying and, and not saying. Step seven, follow up. What part of this are you not getting? <laughs> I wrote down here, don't be afraid to take the small steps. There's something powerful in the momentum, no matter how small. So I wrote down here, if you've not done a 5-5-10, five, five, do one, do it today. If you haven't talked to your past client in sphere, make some phone calls. If you're not talking to your clients, talk to them. I wrote down here, stop playing small and stop being average. I'm talking, now, question. Think of all the superstar agents that you know. When they call expireds, do they follow up or not? Yes. Do they generally follow up? Yes. Okay. It, the ones who follow up are probably not average agents, are they? They're probably what? Superstars. So we can be in the superstar category, which means we follow up and do what we're supposed to do when we're supposed to do it, or we can be in the average category. Stop playing small and start and stop being average. Each choice begins a chain of events that ultimately determines our destiny. Each choice. I choose to do what I'm supposed to do, and I'll make money, and I'll be able to pay my bills, and I'll be able to set money aside for my retirement, and I'll have money for my grandchildren, and I'll be able to go to Disneyland, and we can have, you know, when you go to Disneyland, there are two or three different events you can have right there. You can go on the average day, or you can go on the next to the above average day, or you can get a complete guided tour day where you have a suite of rooms where by midday you go and spend the day in your suite, shower, relax, and then go back and spend the rest of the day there. There's the, I brought lunch because I can't afford to buy food their day, because it's expensive to go to Disneyland, right? Okay? Or I'll buy lunch there for my family day. Or I'll get a room at Disneyland and take everybody to the room type day and spend the night there so we can go in and out of the park two or three different times. What kind of day you want to spend with your grandkids and kids? Well, the only way you're going to do it is by doing the activities we're talking about on a regular basis. Stop playing small. 
Each choice begins a chain of events. So chain of event number one is if you don't do what I'm talking about, you guys get to go to Disneyland, but you have to take lunch. Tuna sandwiches that will spoil by noontime. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, they'll be all mushy and yucky, and then they'll leak on the potato chips, and what's worse than a soggy potato chip? This is a mess. And then you're mad at yourself because now you gotta go buy lunch and pay another $100, and that throws the whole day out, and now you're mad, okay? Or step two, where you know you're gonna buy lunch, but by three o'clock in the afternoon, you and the kids are pretty exhausted. It's warm out there. It's hot, and you're exhausted. God, I'd like to just take a quick shower, you know, kind of shake it off, maybe have lunch in my room, get an hour's worth of air conditioning, kind of cool my body temperature down, cool the kids down, because they're pretty cranky right now, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, you know? The older the kids, the crankier they get. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore, this is a dumb idea. <laughs> or the third category, where you have a great suite at California Adventure, that hotel, I think it's called California Adventure. They have great suites there. You take your family, put the kids in one room, let them watch a little Disney television. You lay down in the other room, close your eyes, rest a little bit, have a little bit of nourishment, kind of recharge yourself. It's three o'clock, five o'clock, you get back out there, you go do it again. Another four or five hours. You watch the, the lights and the, pura uh, the, uh, the parade and then the fireworks. And then the next day, eight o'clock in the morning, you're back in the park. That's what you want. But that comes from following the combination. Get it? It's following the combination. So what do you want? What kind of a day do you want at Disneyland? Okay? What kind of time do you want to spend with your kids and your family? What kind of a trip do you want? It all starts. Each choice begins a chain of events that ultimately determines our destiny. Question. If you knew of one action that you could perform today that would increase the likelihood of your success tomorrow, would you hesitate to perform that action today? You wouldn't do that. You would do it. You would take action. That one action is to stop looking for new business for the rest of the week and focus on the business that you already have that you're not paying attention to. I wrote down here, whatever your goals are, resolve right now to do that one thing. No matter how small the thing is, that'll bring you closer to the realization of your goal. I wrote down the choice of yours. The choice is yours. The actions you take today will speak volumes as to the success you will have for the rest of the year. Am I going to Disneyland? taking my lunch for myself and my kids? Or I'm spending the day at Disneyland, the 24 hours, and am I renting a suite for myself and my family? It starts right now. Let's make it happen, thank you.